Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mrs. Potato, you know, the one that doesn't like to move off sofas and has exercise. And this is a feminist who just talks about women's rights all the time and throws tantrums on cameras. So today we thought we'd react to more Andrew Tate because we know that a lot of you wanted us to, so that's what we're going to do because we actually listen to our subscribers. Yeah, we do listen. And um, this one's for you, Andrew's fans. People have no fucking concept of how busy I am. If I go on my Instagram inbox, I am so ridiculously busy. And they'll, they'll message me things like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, bro. How are you? I don't have time for that. What do you want? And I'm saying this with respect. Get to the point. Yeah, that's Tate, what it is. I need this. Well, Tate, yeah. can we do this? Don't be like, Tate, how you been? Yeah, it's I know it's polite. I get that. I don't care about polite. I do not have time. My brain is better used elsewhere. So I'm scanning through. I'm trying to pick the hot chicks. Just, yep, yeah, hotty, accept, hotty, accept, hotty, accept, accept all the hot Can't girls. Relate. And then Both all the, the, the dudes with the, what they want and shit. <laughs> get to the point. So my Instagram is basically because the inbox is. Everyone's just messaging from pure sh is fine. On to the point. We're in Ukraine because I'm a brilliant individual. I'm an exceptional individual. Yeah, you Most are. Most people are proud of having one thing. Like, yeah. oh, I go to the gym all the time. I'm strong. Yeah. I'm stronger than that. Yeah, or do I try to go a little bit yeah, lower key so I can do the things I used to do? Most people don't understand. There's a few people who understand my history. Sorry, when I see three people walking, three dudes of combat age walking, I, I identify them in real time because I'm that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. <laughs> You're not that guy. Okay. What? Most people don't know my history. People know I sold a little bit of drugs and did this and did that. Oh, didn't know you drug dealer. The shit I've been through and the things I've done to become the man I am. But I'm now at a point now where I'm sitting going, do I go to Singapore and collect that Bitcoin yeah. myself? Or can I send somebody else to do it? Do both. Do I go collect that cash myself or can I send somebody else to do it? Do both. Do I Why want not? to send that sex know somebody who I need to know? Do I go for Moose myself or do I send somebody else to do it? I need a James Bond. I, I need a James Bond. He goes, mm, a little bit more, mm, a little bit. Guy does it. Mm, a little bit. I was like, bro, you think those little bits are going to Oh, is he on the back of his head? The girl's going to walk down Someone the road and go, oh. I'd but there's an extra millimeter on the left side of his hair. Maybe I'm like, on what planet are you? You think that makes any noticeable difference to anyone? Probably is so small, he's obsessed with fucking lengths. He's a real tiny. He's like, oh, if I get the length just right, if I get an extra millimeter off my hair and I get an extra inch on my Oh my god, boy, it? it's I hate that shit. At the end, when he gets the mirror out, he goes, is that okay? I have never once said no. I've never once been like, um, can you, uh, uh can you give me a No, I'm always just like, yeah, fine. I'm paying. Who gives a Cut it, cut the hair. It's shorter. I came in with longer hair. Now it's shorter hair. Can you shave it this much, dude? She's like this, dude. Our graves are the same size. You don't need that Lambo. Be humble. Our graves are the same size. What? Do absolutely nothing with my life because one day I'm going to die. Sit around and be like you, a broke boy, because one day I'm going to die. That's the most pathetic justification. I'm on Twitter or, or Facebook. I'm flexing on the broke boys. Cars, money, champagne. There's always one broke boy or graves are the same what what does that have to do our graves being the same size although it's false because i guarantee i'll have a bigger grave than you one not that it matters but i'll do it anyway it's probably will, you know. yeah no wait wait, wait. Like, turn it <laughs> his face no because he's about six two in t i'm not sure i think he's he quite, is tall i think he's really tall yeah blessed be with thy flex i explained this to someone some i love that bum so and of course, oh, yeah, you replied with the typical book, but I don't like sparkling. You don't like sparkling water? You don't like water? Yeah, but the bubbles. The bubbles? You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? <laughs> if anything it has bubbles in it, or you're afraid of bubbles? It's an emoji. Hey, this is another full grown man. Some just told you about how to sit and. I can't go through my life without getting angry. I, I've, I've got to meet people, business like associates, etc. I go there, one dude orders sushi. Well, Some other dude is scared of bubbles. Nice watch. Like, if, if a waiter comes over and goes, what water for the table? Sparkling, please. I obviously answer. And then some little oh, um, uh, can I have a still? Let's drink the water on the table. Fucking man. You're gonna start cha making the waiter run back and forth and change water orders because you can't handle bubbles? Yeah, he's got facts there. Dudes. <laughs> 
What's happening? I'm so confused. Is it like a break or something? Oh no. Is he just stealing some ma a man's girl? <laughs> a lot. No, no, no. Is this acting or is this for real? Play it out. Oh, ain't that the knee? What? Is it Nico boys or whatever they're called? No, it's not Nico. Is I it? walk into hell and the devil's like, "Oh, I'm gonna burn you." Are like, you gonna do? Sh <laughs> well, I'm gonna stand there and let you burn me. No, I'm not. Mask wearers. No, you're burning me. You touch not. Yeah, he said that. And there's a woman behind him massaging with a mask on. I mean, to be fair, that massage looks well nice. Off top it, well, it looks good, doesn't it? Wow. So would it have been fun to be the king of hell or an angel in heaven? I'm looking at these atheists and they're all just dorks or just nerds or, I mean, Christians are nerds too. It's hard, but all the complete degeneracy you see in the world job, nowadays we don't believe in it is done in yeah. the name of atheism, and I don't think that's a good thing. I think that some basic I like thing, tattoo. family, it's really man, into woman, children, etc. That only seems to be the religious people. Only religious people are, are propagating these ideas. So I don't want to be an atheist anymore. I look what the atheists are doing, and they've just gone nuts. Turns out being religious to God is far better than being religious to any of the other options out there. I'm going to start believing in God. Oh, he's going to stop believing in God. I go to church twice a week and I'm now a Christian. So this is, there's no funny, <laughs> I love you, at the end of this take speech. I just Remember genuinely that, believe it's good car. for society, which means it has to be good for me. That's just not his car. Me. We all knew I was going to heaven anyway. <laughs> Let's be honest. And if we all knew if I, if I was going to go to hell, I was going to take over. Yeah, true. Look at the dude yeah. who plays Incredible Hulk. I saw yeah. on his Twitter, he was wearing a pro-feminism t-shirt. Bro, you're the Incredible Hulk. Do you think the Incredible Hulk gives a fuck about feminism? You're the Incredible Hulk. Boy. Oh, well, wait, oh, feminist. It's just ridiculous. There's only one man left who's an action hero. Do you know who that person is? Iron Man. Him. Oh, okay. I'm the last yeah, action him. hero. I'm the last guy you see who's big and strong and muscly. F women who can fight. Doesn't take nobody driving around in supercars. It's only me. They've even ruined Bond. We've talked about this already. I am the last guy left. The last vestige of masculinity yeah. in the Western world. I generally don't think there'll be another tape. Oh yeah. yeah, definitely. I agree with that. That's only going to exist as long as this channel exists. I'm surprised we haven't been banned yet. I don't know why they're still letting me talk. Here I am. If you are a parent and you have a young son, or if you're a young guy, what you need to do is ban Hollywood. Ah, ah. Pull the knife. Ah. No, they're but he's useless. Got a point. He's got a point, though. Unmatched perspicacity coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in the world. His voice is very different. Well, basically, yeah, he looks unmatched like perspicacity, yeah. my ability to perceive things. Wait, wait, wait. I just realised there's two tates. <laughs> Can't get enough. <laughs> Coupled with sheer indefatigability, my ability to never become tired. So I can perceive and I never become tired it makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavour. Stay back! <laughs> like that's what he said to me. So I just stood there and watched this fight go down. Anyway. The guys were hitting my father. My dad oh, ended yeah. up with his teeth in the guy's face. The guy he grabbed, he sunk his teeth into his face. And they were hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. Eventually, one of them got a ball and hit my dad on the head. And his Aww. knees went. He didn't fall. Jeez. His knees went. That's a bit His head started to bleed. He let go. It was so sad. And he kind of turned. And all four of them were facing one way. And they ran out the street. That's horrible. And I remember my dad's face was, was badly bruised. Really badly his head's all bleeding. Jeez. The guy behind the counter just told the police the story of how he fought four men on his own. And the police officer goes, so what's your job? He said, I'm a chess player. I was a chess player? You just fought four guys. Maybe you should have been something else. And the dad's reply was, an unmatched perspicacity coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a fear of pain in any way. Bless him. That's inspiring. No, I'm saying that's actually yeah. really good. And it's inspiring. That's the next question. I know for a fact you didn't know. I don't like it, you don't worry about that. Spirit jizz. First of all, you need the spirit world. Come on, you spirit world, you're so deep. You don't mess with this stuff. It's like, this is your mom, you do jizz fast. Say jizz. The way she said that, jizz. Look at the camera and say jizz. Look at the camera. 
Jizz. J I Z Z. Jizz? Jizz, yes. Jizz? Jizz? Yeah. Oh my god. The way he keeps making her say that, she doesn't know. <laughs> You're under the spirit world. You're in the spirit world. Just do yeah, you're in the spirit world. <laughs> to be fair, if someone did that in front of me, I'd laugh as well. Yeah. So guys, yeah, that that clip was very funny, I believe. Yeah. Once, like, like I said, top G can't beat him. But yeah, like Livy said before, you won't get another Andrew Tate. And I think most of the things he does say is to trigger people. To be fair. But, you know, I'm not really triggered, so. like, it is what it is. I actually thought that this video was funny. It was pretty funny. Yeah. And, I mean, what happened to his dad was very, that was harsh. Yeah. And a bit cruel from those four people. But good on him for fighting them, though. One against four. Jeez, he must be, um, Hulk. Superman. He must be the new Hulk. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what would you like to see next. Goodbye.